How to pick your own music is uh, one of the most important aspects of dancing. Um, so, just to start, let me give you a short story <clears throat> on my beginnings uh, with, some of <clears throat> with some of my best trainers. Uh, how I started to discover how to pick your own music. And it all started uh, many, many years ago. Uh, and I was dancing and this, uh, this uh, trainer approached me and told me, you know what, Mauricio? Uh, you, remind, uh, you remind me myself like when I was young, right? And I used to go with my friends to play pool, okay? So I've noticed that I would start playing and I would do anything I wanted. You know, everything was on uh, my fingertips. I could put any ball anywhere I wanted. But after five, 10 minutes, yeah, I started to get bored at it and I couldn't do anything. I would make the silliest mistakes uh, that even a beginner could do. So after he told me this uh, little story of him, that I remind him of that, he was referring to my dance back then, which it happens to that when I started, I was very motivated and I, you know, I could do anything. But after a short while, I started to get bored, okay? So I started to do all these mistakes. I started to step anywhere because basically I didn't care that much. So back then this little story didn't resound that much. But through the years, uh, and recapping all these teachings and learnings, I uh, started to question myself, like, how is it possible that I'm doing uh, this activity that I love, right? and I get bored, okay? So <clears throat> I started to pay attention to what I was doing. So back then I was teaching, you know, five, six, seven, eight hours a day or more, okay? And the interesting thing is that I was listening to tango music day in and day out, okay? So uh, one of, uh, so you have to uh, ha make into context that it doesn't matter how much you love a certain type of music, if you're going to start to listen it for many, many hours, day in and day out, you will get bored and you won't be paying attention to it anymore. Okay? It doesn't matter how good it is. Uh, same thing with anything. It does, uh, even if you have your favorite food, if you eat it every day and night, you know, you won't like it anymore. So uh, that's the thing I've learned from uh, that experience, from that teacher. So when I realized that, what happens is uh, I started to experiment. For example, my first shift was starting to play Piazzolla, right? So when I played Piazzolla, boom, the I was opening again, I was paying attention, uh, I was emotionally charged to dance with it. Why? Because Piazzolla is a very challenging uh, rhythm pattern, it has a very challenging. So <clears throat> uh, I couldn't dance it at the beginning, it was so different from the typical uh, rhythmically traditional tango. But that woke me up. Okay, so after being awoken by that, I started to listen a new type of music and a new type of experience. Little by little, I started the shift, which means uh, to shift from what you are supposed to be dancing what are the social uh, constraints of uh, uh, what you are supposed to be listening to or what you are supposed to be doing or what is supposed to be good for you, yeah? To shift from that into the type of music that 
with respect to you it has emotional it's emotionally charged okay what do I mean by this for example let's forget about dancing just for a, a moment see uh, music has been with you uh, and accompanying you all throughout your life okay so at different moments maybe when you were a teenager uh, and, uh, and you fell in love or maybe when you had a great vacation somewhere someplace I am sure I am sure that there is a song a tune a type of rhythm yeah that when you put it on you just smile okay it brings you memories it brings you emotions of uh, places you have been okay uh, so that is talking about music that is emotionally charged okay uh, so also there's other type of music uh, that you have been listening through your life that when you turn it on see uh, and you are experiencing it nobody has to tell you that yeah now you have to stand up and let's say dance but you put that music and <clears throat> depends on your uh, uh, level of sensitivity uh, see myself I put the music I like and my body just jumps into it okay because I want to move but let's say you're not yet that adept to, to, to that level of, of freedom uh, when you put the music you love you will start to maybe lightly tap with your uh, with your foot uh, maybe move your hands but your body by itself it will react uh, rhythmically to what is going on so uh, one of my best advice to you and what we do use in tango discovery fully yeah is that you start to make the list of the music that has meaning to you okay because when you are dancing with music that has meaning to you dancing is extremely easy you know it's extremely simple and you can keep uh, growing these feelings and emotions for much longer periods of time okay it will set free your uh, ability to express yourself one warning <clears throat> is when you start this research see uh, you're going to find some actually well I'll tell you about myself um, you're going to find silly music you know music that is not even good music that even for uh, technical standards uh, or uh, musician standards are a piece of crap okay but it doesn't matter because once you recognize it you like it you love it okay so uh, at the beginning uh, when you are doing all this search relax put everything that has any meaning any personal meaning to you any resonance uh, within you and just put it in a list you know make the list as extend as you can okay later on you realize for example if you uh, have compiled a, a list of uh, whatever the amount is let's say uh, 50 songs 100 songs then later on I will show you uh, specifically how uh, because obviously we are dancing tango okay so the the task to do is how to start to uh, combine you know all these emotions all these things you just are learning to open up with the music you love so within the music you love you will find that there are songs that will be easier to dance than other ones okay so 
<clears throat> because of different things. You just have to explore, okay? Uh, I can explain it to you, but I prefer you explore and you discover it by yourself. Uh, <clears throat> so, uh, from in this uh, list of 50 or 100 songs, you will start to prioritize which songs uh, are the ones that are actually uh, that actually you can dance, okay? Um, just to give you my personal reference is that uh, I'm a musician also by profession, even before I was a dancer. So uh, after uh, I started to listen to Piazzolla, then there was no turn back. I started to uh, pick all the songs that I love, all the repertoire that I actually I, I used to play guitar with. Uh, <clears throat> so after that, actually, no one ever again had to tell me, hey, you know, why don't you pay attention? Hey, why don't you put more energy? Because I had the alley of, of, of the music around. So, Pick your own music with these guidelines, uh, enjoy, have fun, and see you on the next video.